Welcome back online, those looking in, and welcome back to the Dublin Citizens' Assembly, our third weekend, and uh, very welcome to North County Dublin in uh, Fingal region, and the Grand, Mal Malahide, Grand Hotel in Malahide. So the uh, Assembly members have just concluded their deliberations uh, on what we have learned so far, and we'll recap that in a moment. Uh, so, this is our last event uh, in the Grand Malahide Hotel. So, uh, I'd like to get to do some thank yous, uh, if, if, if you could have some patience with me, and then maybe at the very end we'll give uh, one large bulla bus. So, first of all, I want to thank uh, Matthew Ryan and the team at the Grand Hotel. Um, their hospitality has been, second, uh, has been first class, their uh, catering has been world class, and um, uh, the way they've looked after us over the last number of weeks has, has been f f fantastic. So um, we might start off maybe with a bullet bus to get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, you've just gone through a, a session there with um, our facilitator, fa facilitators and note takers. Um, it's not an enviable task. They've done a phenomenal job um, trying to, 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 to moderate and facilitate all of the, 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 the experience, the learning, the, the thoughts and opinions that we have from our uh, free citizens in, in, in the room. So um, to Caroline Gardner and all the Quality Matters teams, thank you. <laughs> Part of the deliberative democracy process is transparency. So we, have, we are live. We have been streaming all the sessions to PI Communications for the live streaming and for Jerry and the Sound to um, uh, Q4 communications uh, for making sure that we end up in the papers, which we did yesterday. Um, and so to Ron and Sabrina, Gorimila Margot. Uh, we heard earlier on from Braden from Derek, um, so, so to our expert advisory group and with uh, Dr. Jane Souter as well, who's with us this afternoon. Um, to all the presenters, Teresa, Avic, uh, Shane, and all the contributors over the weekend, uh, thank you so much for being with us. And thank you for the EAG for your continual guidance um, for myself and for Art. Uh, it's really appreciated. Gramagat. Um, we've had the, uh, our interpreters with us, Lisa and Margaret, doing a phenomenal job. Um, so please give them a round of applause. Uh, we also have uh, Owen, Anthony and Owen from the uh, Electoral Commission. They're just finishing off their studies, their masters. So guys, I wish you the very best of, of, of luck uh, in your exams. Uh, this, is, this process here will contribute to your thesis. And uh, I wish you uh, two political scientists, soon to be qualified. So I wish you the very best of success in your journey. So none of this would happen without um, a, uh, the, the Secretariat, uh, led by our Secretary General uh, with us this afternoon, Art O'Leary. Um, as I said, to the used, I used to say to the football team, the double football team, that preparation is nine tenths performance. And uh, things have gone so well uh, over the last number of weeks. Uh, but I know in, in the shadows, the preparation, the hard work, uh, the de attention to detail is, is very, is not only is impressive, it's outstanding. So to Art, to Cahill, Tim, Lorraine Kavanagh, Lorraine Sexton, Deirdre, Denise, Julianne and Connor, on behalf of the Assembly members for making all this happen, thank you so much. Uh, so back to you, the, the, the Assembly members. Um, uh, a special thanks to uh, the 42 um, assembly members who asked questions this weekend, this weekend. So it's very obvious that we're, you're, we're, we're beginning to find our feet. We're beginning to be, feel, uh, feel comfortable with each other. And if we just go through, I suppose, just to recap very, very briefly why we're here and our terms of reference. And I think when we look at, the, at those terms of reference, uh, I think we, we, we have stuck in that laneway uh, all, all, all the time. And it's, it just, I think it's important as, as this concluding session, because we are uh, going into a recess now for the summer, to remind ourselves of, of why we're here. We want to consider the type of direct electric mayor and, and the local government structures that are best suited to Dublin and to bring forward proposals in that regard. And that's what you have been doing over the last, uh, last hour and, and, and a bit. And our terms of reference re reflected your discussions 
We're talking about the strengths and the weaknesses of the current model of local government. We looked at the potential risks, benefits, challenges, opportunities associated with a directly elected mayor for Dublin. You looked at what functions could be transferred from central government to regional or local government Dublin, uh, how it could be funded, and finally, the appropriate structures for local and regional government councils and authorities. A lot was done there, and I think what we're picking up is that we'll need to come back, I believe, in September to finish off this little bit of work and to consider it. So if we look at the journey that we're on, we're climbing that mountain. We've gone through the first, those first three pillars to set the foundation of your report that you will submit to the uh, rep local representatives who you have voted uh, into our Oireachtas. So our next session will be um, on the 10th of September um, where we begin to narrow and debate the options. We then will um, go into voting in October um, with a, um, uh, the report being issued in, in, no in November. So we have a number of steps to get through. Um, so the first thing I want to say is that we have uploaded, or rather ART has uploaded the Limerick uh, Implementation Advisory Group report and the Oireachtas Pre-Legislative Scrutiny paper onto the Members Library. That was done today. Um, we're going to compile uh, the work pack that you completed this afternoon. Um, that will be done over the next week or so, and we'll have that on, on, on the Members Library only for, uh, for the 15th of, of, Ju of July. Um, then we're going to close out any outstanding questions from the presenters from, uh, from, um, uh, from the weekend session. And again, that will be uploaded on the 15th of July. It is important for me to also to say, if you have any questions, if there's things that you aren't sure about that you'd like more information on, uh, to help you come up with your, your recommendations, please let us know, either myself, uh, Jim Gavin, uh, jim.gavin at assembly, uh, sitassembly.ie, or Art's email address. Please give us your feedback if you need to have more detail in the, in the, in the September session. Um, we also have a few more, few more things to do. We are, uh, we've surveyed um, our 183 councillors from the four local authorities. That information is coming back in, and we're going to publish that. We'll take a break for, this, for, for July, which is next week, and uh, so uh, to, I suppose, refresh everybody's um, uh, uh, memories on, on, on the matters at hand. We'll publish that mid-August on the 19th of August. We've also, uh, 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 we, we wrote a letter to um, the 246 Dublin public representatives. Uh, so the 183 councillors, the 45 TDs, the 18 senators. And we're going to publish that uh, paper, or th those, um, submissions on the public website the week before we convene um, on the 10th. So um, then we meet on the 10th uh, in September in, in the RDS. Um, and we're going to cons consider any unresolved matters or issues that you might have. So if you need more presentations, if you have these questions that you've asked over the summer, we, we'll answer those questions. And then we'll finalize the options for, um, uh, for your report. And you will agree then what you want to ballot on when we convene again in October. We meet in October, the 1st of October. It'll be in Dublin Castle. We'll, again, we'll consider any unresolved issues that have cropped up in the intervening period. We'll just do a summary, a recap of the journey, again, to frame, uh, frame wh wh where we have come from. And then we'll go into the voting session, and you'll vote on what those recommendations and proposals will be that will be reflected in your report to the House of Directors. We'll then, um, mid-October, we'll issue you the, um, a, a, a draft report um, where you can make comments back, track changes, uh, give your thoughts on, on the report that, that the Secretariat uh, will, will, will draft. And then finally, um, once we can agree on a paper that reflects your, uh, your recommendations and your thoughts and opinions, then we can sign that off and issue that to the House of Rockers in November and we can enjoy a free, uh, a free Christmas, which isn't too far away around the corner. So, um, fr from, from my perspective, in terms of my reflections on what has happened to date, um, I, I've just been just so, so impressed with uh, the enthusiasm, your commitment um, uh, for, for, uh, for this process, but it's, it's more than just a process, uh, it's, it's something tangible. Uh, what the work you do is going to um, uh, you know, affect the lives of not just 
this generation, but for generations to come. And we spoke earlier on about the, the history of, of our state. It's 100 years old. Um, and the work you are doing right now will impact um, not only the, the citizens of, of Dublin City and County, but the broader island of Ireland in terms of, 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 of uh, what our great county and city can do. Uh, so so uh, I have just been inspired to be in your company and to witness uh, your, your commitment to a, to a, to a purpose uh, higher than, uh, than, than yourselves. And this always resonates me when, when I'm in your company, uh, that great James Joyce quote about that, when you die, Dublin will be written in your heart. So the legacy that you will leave, um, uh, it's something that you can be very, very proud of. Uh, I know it's been challenging this weekend, a lot of information has been thrown to you, but uh, you know and I know the work that you will do will have a significant impact on, on the future of Dublin, and that certainly um, uh, th that that quote can be can be attributed to each and every one of the uh, of the free assembly members that have been here with us uh, over the last number of weekends. So that concludes my remarks, my closing remarks. I want to wish you uh, wish you all a um, a a um, nice summer break. Uh, one little bit of homework to do before you leave for 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 Dr. Jane Souter, because I'll get in trouble if you don't do this. Is your evaluation report? So in your own time before you leave. Uh, can you please fill out the reports? So once again, good Mila Mila Margot. Have a lovely summer, and we'll see you all in September. Good morning.